in eukaryotes the transcription takes place inside the nucleus if we look into this process we would understand the eukaryotic rna polymerase 2 move along in a 5 prime to 3 prime direction along dna and using a template strand it transcribes the mrna the mrna which is now hanging out of the rna polymerase would be eventually treated by several enzymes such as alternative splicing enzymes capping enzymes etc and would be further processed before it could have could even finish the translate transcription now several enzymes such as methyl transferases triphosphatase guanyl transferase etc form a 5 prime cap and ultimately the mrna is now matured after alternative splicing capping and polyadenylation however this mrna which we are calling at a mature mrna which has a cap at 5 prime a polyadenylation tail at the 3 prime entire sequence of this rna is not coding for a protein it turns out let's say 70 percent of the sequence is coding for a protein and rest 30 percent the sequences do not code for a protein rather these sequences are regulatory elements these are known as untranslated region because they are not detected by the ribosomes they are present in both 5 prime and the 3 prime direction and they are named as 5 prime and 3 prime utr respectively now ribosomes bind to the start codon at that coding region and move along the coding region to transcribe the protein of interest but the untranslated regions are not bound to ribosomes then what does this untranslated region bind to and what are the functions of these untranslated region why do they even exist all of these questions need to be answered and in this video we would learn about the functions that untranslated region play in terms of translation regulation or regulation of gene expression so first of all these untranslation untranslated regions both in the 5 prime or 3 prime direction can bind to several proteins which might aid the nuclear export of the mrna the mrna can only be translated and further processing can be done when it is out of the nucleus and in this export process several utr binding proteins can really help and help the mrnas to be exported not only that utr can regulate translational efficiency and in a moment we would understand how does that happen so let's say this is the mature mrna in case of eukaryotes the the small subunit of the ribosome binds to the 5 prime cap followed by several initiation factors and then they sort of scan where is the start codon and then a particular trna which is the initiator trna binds followed by assembly of the large subunit and thereby the translation initiation takes place right imagine at the 5 prime end there is an untranslated region which has repetitive sequences and due to that a loop sequence is produced as a result this particular small subunit of the ribosome and the initiation factors would have a hard time moving towards the start codon right or finding the start codon this is how they can possibly regulate the rate of translation in this case the movement of the small subunit of the ribosome would be much slower right and that is how translation could be regulated not only regulation of translation but these utr can regulate the stability of the mrna and really regulate the rate at which the mrna could decay how does that happen now rna degradation takes place via several enzymes several exonucleases normally these exonucleases cannot attack the rna because there is a 5 prime cap but there are cap removal enzymes which remove the cap after several run rounds of translation and eventually the rna is degraded but let's say in the utr region there are several associated protein complexes which might associate which would prevent these 
exonucleases to attack the RNA and degrade it quickly. That means the RNA would be stabilized and stay there for longer. So clearly you can understand the amount of time the RNA is alive is more and it could possibly give rise to more number or more rounds of translation, right? Definitely the translation round would increase the level of protein produced from that mRNA. This is how the protein concentrations can be modulated and all of these can be regulated by that particular cis regulatory element, right? Which is present in the cis in terms of the coding region. Now this really enhance the stability of the mRNA. Now not only these cases but not these untranslated regions especially 3' UTR could also work like a docking site for microRNAs. MicroRNAs gets processed and bind to the 3' UTR followed by binding of a big complex which can eventually trans regulate translation or aid in the decay of the mRNA. So microRNA mediated regulation is an important function of the 3' UTR and many of the genes which are regulated in development and disease are regulated by these microRNAs at its 3' UTR. Not only that, all of that we discussed apart from that these UTR can actually regulate the subcellular location of the mRNA. Imagine a neuron. How does neuron decide that how to localize its mRNA in the synapses or say let's say in the mitochondria. So they really regulate the localization of the mRNA by the UTR binding proteins which aid in their transport to specific subcellular localization. I hope in this particular video we are able to clarify why untranslated regions are important. Coming to the sequence feature, the 5' UTR and 3' UTR both doesn't have the same length. 5' UTRs are shorter than the 3' UTR. Generally 5' UTRs are 100 to 200 nucleotides whereas in contrast the 3' UTR are more than 800 nucleotides. The GC contents also differ between these two types of UTRs. 60% GC contents are generally found in 5' UTR whereas 45% for the 3' UTR. All these point of differences lead to different regimes of regulation of uh, translation or RNA stability. Altogether, we learned in this video that UTRs play diverse role to regulate the central dogma processes and mostly regulate the translation rate and the mRNA stability. So I hope this short video was helpful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment how do you like my videos. But there would be a video on this untranslated region which would be a lot more details okay so stay tuned